from a secret location in Hollywood. It's the, 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 the Tom Likas Show. You don't get me, huh? And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacker or a convicted felon. No, I am your host. I got our telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5-800-TOM. 1-800-5-800-866. It's like it's 101, the ongoing on-air adult education course. That teaches men how to get more tail for less money. Just as importantly, we teach women how men think at 1-800-5-800-TOM. This is Josh on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Dad, how are you? Son, I'm fine. Thank you for taking my call, Dad. Uh, I have a question for you. I have a little situation. I'm 19. I have a friend, this girl that I've known since I was 19, or since uh, <laughs> she's 19. Um, I've known her for a long time, and she's still a virgin. I really feel that I, I should be mine. <laughs> How do you think I should go about that? Why are you, first of all, why are you with a virgin? I'm not with her, no. She's just a girl I've known uh, pretty much my whole life. But, but, but you need to be focusing on women who put out... I know, but she's beautiful. I, I don't care it. how beautiful she is. Oh, all right. Virgins are a bad idea. Even if they give you what you want, you can't ever get rid of them. No? You No, because let me tell you, I still hear from chicks who I was the first one for them. They never go away. Ever. That sucks. All I, right. I, one, of the, one of these chicks that I'm talking about right now got married, had kids, Whenever I'm on the East Coast, if she knows about it, I hear from her. Yeah. Where's the husband? Who knows? The husband is, I don't know where. Maybe he's in the other room for all I know. She's talking to me. Ooh, I wonder how you're doing. What's going on? Are you going to have any time while you're in New York? I hear this all the time. Son, I'm telling you. You so need to focus. Idea, huh? Yes, and you should be focusing your attention on girls who put out. Yeah. What if she never puts out? What if she's holding out for marriage? You gonna marry her? Oh no, hell no. Maybe that's what she's doing. Well, that's not what I'm after. Well, then you need to start focusing on girls who put out. All right. You don't need female friends, okay? You need to get laid. Yeah, as much as possible. Yes. All right, Dad. Yeah, thank you very much. I won't. I won't put forth any more effort towards it at all. I wouldn't. Hey, can you take me out with a bong hit, please? Yes, I can. Here you Thank go. Thank you very much. Sure. <coughs> Alfonso, you're on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Father. Son. Forgive me for I have sin. What'd you do? I got my chick pregnant. Well, you're how old, Alfonso? I'm 20. Well... What do I tell you about having a girlfriend? Not to do it. Yeah, but, but you thought you knew more than I did, right? Uh, actually, I didn't, but I knew I was risking something. Yeah, well, you were. And now you got exactly what you deserved. I know, but I don't want to pay child support. I want to fix my life. What do I do? What, 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 you, the fact that, look, if you called me and said I wasn't listening to your show, I wasn't a student of yours... I'd try to work with you on this, but pal, you had all the information you needed and you chose to ignore me. Yeah. You ignored I me. I know, Father. You're getting exactly what you deserve. So how do I fix it? You can't fix it. I mean, what how do I you make it better? Make it better? Yeah, well, I know it's screwed up, but how do I make it better? What What do you mean by make it better? Uh, well, I know uh, she's pregnant. That's a fact. Baby's come to town that way. I know that. I mean, that's a fact. How many months pregnant is she? That's three months. And you, you waited this long to call in? Well, I try to do a Hail Mary, but that's not working. And it hasn't well, worked. the Hail Mary is your last resort. 
I tried it, but I, you know, she's 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 told me before that. Well, she told me before that she might get an abortion, and I trusted her. But well, now that that's great. Coming, you trusted her. Good. Look where uh, that got you. Well, you always said that be with a chick who will have an abortion, which is what I thought I... Saying you, know. you might do something is not the same as saying you will do something. Right. Saying you might do something is saying you won't do it. Yeah, I know. But now, I, you know, I, I, I told her about it when she found out she was pregnant. I told her to, to get an abortion, and, and I guess her family... It's against it, so she's against it. Well, you let, you let, by the way, what brand, I just so I know, because when I go out this weekend, I want to make sure I'm re using the right brand. What brand of condoms were you using? What brand of condom? Yeah, oh, when she wow. got pregnant, which one failed? I want to know which one it is. Well, I wasn't using one. Yeah, you're an idiot. You're I just know. an idiot. And why weren't you using them? There's another thing I told you to do. Why weren't you using condoms? Well, like I said, she said that she would get an abortion, so I... Guess. I don't care! I told you to use a condom 100% of the time! I know. And never to trust these broads, ever, 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 ever! Not only that, but... But you trusted her, didn't you? I did, yeah. Even though she I told you not to. She said she was on the pill... She said she would get an abortion. I don't care what she said. I told you to use a condom 100. Are you going to college? Yes, I am. Yeah. What's that going to do to your college? I don't know. I don't even want to. You don't want to think about it because you don't want to think about anything. You just want to do things. You don't want to think about anything. Yeah. What are you studying to become? Business administration. Great. So whatever business you're administering, 26 or so percent of that is coming out to pay for your kid. Good work, Ace. Well, what about, put it this way. Let's say I succeed in life, get my degree, whatever, make good money. And if I'm making good money, you know, well, if I'm going to have money to support my child. You're going to have 25 percent less than you would have had had you not been an idiot. Yeah, that's true. So, in other words, there's nothing to fix or there's nothing what to What can do. you do? I mean, I'm certainly not going to tell you to get into a jacuzzi with her to celebrate the oncoming birth or to have a bottle of champagne when you get in the jacuzzi because that could cause a spontaneous uh, miscarriage. You wouldn't want that. Right. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> you wouldn't want the temperature up really high in that hot tub because that would be wrong. Yeah, that's true. Very wrong. So if I were you, I would not go to a... Good more rules. One person break more rules. Holy cow. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Megan on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Megan. Oh, hi. How are you? you? You busy over there? Yeah, I'm sorry. I had you on speakerphone for a while. I was just working, and I just got to work now. <laughs> I see. Yeah, sorry about that. Anywho, uh, yeah, so I'm a very hard worker. Um, I just got out of a relationship a year ago, and uh, the guy told me pretty much. He was like, well, look, we got. I got to leave you because um, for the for you know both of us because we're both a distraction. I want to pursue my career, and I'm sure you want to as well. And I got really upset, so I'm like, fine, fine. You know what? I'm just move to California and make something of myself, and you know I'll see you later. And not only did I kind of you know prove him wrong, I kind of proved to myself that I can do it. And ever since then, I've swayed away from relationships in general. Just everything you're 21 um, what do you need relationships for anyway exactly no exactly and i agree um but you know it's kind of like a one-stop deal you know what i mean like walmart has everything to offer so it's like a you know boyfriend you can get laid anytime you want with you know that guy but you know dare, dare if you're a female you can get laid anytime you want anyway 
that's what people tell me, but why do I find it so difficult? Megan, I Megan, I, I've got three guys here who will come out there and do you tonight. <laughs> they don't even want to know your last name. No, I can't. Well, here's the thing, though. So I was working on set a month ago. Now that Dean is off the hook for banging fat chicks, we will send him right out there. I, I, I'm, I am not, a, yeah, I am not a fat chick, which I absolutely love that, by the way. You were so right about that whole thing. So, uh, what, do you, I do, what, what do you look like? Um, I am 5'3". I weigh 120 pounds. I have long brown hair, uh, I guess past my shoulders. Um, I've heard I had a nice butt. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not really. You got cans? No, I wish I did. I only have a B cup, so it's not, I'm not like this busty brunette or anything. Oh. Mm. Sorry, but, but, <laughs> but, um, anyhow, but, um, this guy asked me out and, you know, I didn't look at it as anything and then he wanted to be my boyfriend. I'm like, wow. Okay. And wow. I'm really, what do you mean? Okay. Why is that? Okay. It's not okay. I mean, I actually am flattered. I kind of, I felt kind of lonely, and I actually wanted somebody. But the thing is, is dear, that, don't you have friends? What do you mean you felt lonely? I'm always amazed when people call in here talk yeah, about I, feeling lonely. You got I family. Friends, you got friends. I bang everybody. You what? Yeah, I, I have friends, but I don't want to bang them all. So, but the point is, why do you need to get your company from people who are banging you? Why can't you accept company from the people who love you, your friends, your family? I have. No, I have. Why do you need to have as a friend the person who provides you sexual activity? No. What I'm saying is I was sexually starved for a year. I haven't done anything for a year. Okay. And but you don't want him to be your friend and you don't need a, a companionship. <laughs> But that's the thing. I like having him around. But what is your take on, I hear that you pretty much hate relationships. Well, I certainly think under 25, you shouldn't be having a relationship. Yeah? You should be having fun. But I am having fun. No, no, fun, no, no, dear. Fun meaning anything can happen on any given night. Oh, I see what you're saying. I don't okay. mean by by fun. I don't mean the two of you going to IKEA together on Saturday morning. That's that's not the kind of fun I'm talking about. No, we go to bars and we dance and we have a great time. You can do that, dear. You don't need the same guy all the time doing that. Okay. <laughs> you are right. too young to be in a serious relationship. Oh no, but this isn't a serious relationship. Yes, I mean, it is. I mean, nobody has said I loved you. Then why don't you nobody... date three guys? Yeah, I told him, I don't want to meet your parents. You're not meeting mine. Let Why don't you date three guys, five guys, seven guys? One for every <laughs> night of the week. Wow. <laughs> that that would be awesome, but I right. can't. Why not? Because I don't want them to get in my way. Get in your way? The idea, the idea is to keep them out of your way because you only call upon them when you need them and then you send them back to the bullpen. Do they like that? I try to do that, and they think it's disrespectful. I'm like, what? Dear, everybody in this room would do you without even knowing your last name. Yeah. Yes. I didn't know it was that easy. Everybody keeps saying it's so easy. I don't see it being easy. Dear, when you have a vagina, all things are possible. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. The only reason why I was in this is to see how men think, too. Because All right. you guys are so dumb, you, you air, broadcast how you think over the air like oh. dumb idiots. I'll okay? see that. So now I know your little game. Really? I can go and play it. It's Likas 101 on the Tom Likas Show. I am your professor at one 800 800 tom That's your telephone number. Thank you for tuning in. Let's say hello here to James on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Professor Tom. Yes. Long time listener, first time caller. Thank you so much. I love what you do. I think uh, you're second only to Hugh Hefner in this town. 
uh, where, when in regards to achieving your dreams and your goals, and I salute you, sir. Thank you. Okay. Uh, I hope you don't think this is uh, too petty for your show, but I got a slight dilemma here. I met this really beautiful chick like three or four weeks ago, right? I asked her out. We went out on a date. Well, actually, it was more like a little Hollywood party, right? Uh, before we went in the party, I had a little bottle of champagne in my SUV, got a little boozed up, and uh, I got to first base before I even took her into the club. Okay. The night went great. We had a great time. And, uh, okay, then she tells me, that was like on a Wednesday, right? Then she tells me she's going to come uh, hang out with me at my crib like on Saturday. That ended up getting canceled. We both go out of town Tuesday for like two weeks. And now I'm back in town and I don't know what the hell to do. What do you want? What do you want to do? Well, I want to nail her, Tom. What do you think? Well, and and you haven't seen her or she doesn't talk to you? Or? Well, okay. Well, all right. I sent her a couple of messages. And, uh, you know, she's not really, uh, she doesn't seem too, uh, you know, enthused about getting back you know in, in any kind of situation like that i mean uh I'm, I'm i'm scared to say that i feel like i'm being put into the friend zone. Uh, well you're only in the friend zone if she's talking to you and then not dating you. i mean is she talking to you yeah she's talking to me but she's not like hey let's hook up well it could be she was drunk Let's start with that, or stoned, or whatever you guys were doing over well, there. Well, she might have been buzzed. I don't think she was drunk. We just had one bottle of champagne. That was it. Yeah, but, you know, for a woman, a half a bottle of champagne is a lot more than for a man. It, uh, uh, you know, how, how alcohol affects you is related to your weight. I understand. I so understand if you that. weigh 180 and she weighs 120, she's going to get drunk a lot faster than you. Right, right. So she well, could have been buzzed on half a bottle of champagne. The thing is, uh, she also let me uh, feel her up right before I dropped her off at her apartment. Yeah. Uh, I got to grab the booty. Which but was, but I was, didn't I she thought, have any drinks at the party? She had a, uh, like a glass of wine, maybe. Mm. But, you know, I don't know. I, I'm thinking, uh, you know, should I call her? Should I text her? Should I let it go? Uh, well, I wouldn't I wouldn't put an extreme effort into this. I would call her as part of the routine of calling all the women you call. And I would never put all my eggs in one basket. Right. Well, this chick is beautiful, Tom. She's. Uh, I like, understand. You know, she's. Uh, I mean, I think she's an LA ten. Maybe somebody, some people would disagree with me, but I think so. So. I, I. That's entirely possible. But you have to be in the habit of having five to seven women that you call regularly. Right. But at the same time, uh, it, it it might bother me a little bit if I let this one go. You know, maybe some other dude's going to get in there and get it, and I miss my opportunity. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, but uh, the the point is, look, if she's interested, she's going to pick up that phone when you call. Right. If she's interested, she's going to see you. It's possible she's not interested. One more little anomaly here. I don't want to bore you with this, but she's talking about moving, uh, like, to San Francisco. And I was thinking maybe she didn't want to, like, get attached or something like that. Don't flatter yourself. <laughs> she's she if she's moving it's because she doesn't have a good enough job or because right. she she has another guy in san francisco or something like that and she might have a guy in san francisco she might be one of those long distance relationships we're always talking about you know went to the party fooled around a little bit with you but maybe she has some other guy she takes more seriously well you know i don't know i'm gonna maybe send her a text later and see what happens if she doesn't text me back i should just forget it huh how many times have you sent her a text? Uh, okay, I, it's been a little bit. I called her last week, and she didn't pick up, and she sent me a message on MySpace. That's about the extent of it. Well, it sounds to me like she's trying to lose you. Uh, don't say that, man. I'm telling you. Well, why would she want to lose? I mean, if she, if, if I get that... Story, what if she has correct. a boyfriend in San Francisco? I doubt it. I don't think it. I don't think why, there's a why, boyfriend in that stuff. Why? Why do you? Why? Why do you say that? What reason do you have to say that? I don't think she really wants to move up there, and it's only because of her job. <laughs> That's what she told you. 
you know, this sounds like it could very well be one of those situations. You know, there's a lot of chicks who have these long distance relationships who go to parties with guys and fool around a little bit. And then like they, they stop it right there and they don't go any further because they've got a boyfriend. Ah, oh, that's going to suck if that's the case. It happens a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Hello? Yeah, I'm listening to you. Yeah, I, you know. You didn't say anything. I don't know. I mean, uh, I mean, don't you think it's worth a shot? I mean. I don't, I, worth a shot, not up to the point of humiliating yourself or getting yourself into a situation where, you know, I mean. For me, uh, I think it's worth a shot to have six or seven different women who you call all the time. And the ones who fall off, fall off. Hell yeah, I feel you on that, Tom. I don't know, there was just something about this chick. Uh, she had that spark, I don't know. Well, just, she was hot, but I'm telling you, that sometimes hot chicks have boyfriends. Right. There's very few hot chicks who don't have some guy they consider the boyfriend. Right. Even if he's somebody they're about to dump or somebody they're cheating on. They, they, they Most of them have somebody they call a boyfriend. Right, right. Well, obviously, I'm definitely not it, so... Uh, Believe me, she knows good. where you are. <laughs> Tom, thank you so much. Blow me, uh, can you take me out um, with a bong hit and Kobe style? Here you go, James. Thanks, <laughs> Thanks Tom. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Yeah, it beats in my heart. Oh. Yeah, the air I breathe. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Oh. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Marianne on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Hi, Marianne. I'm a big fan, and there is a problem that I'm having. I am terrified that I have four boys. I have four sons. The older three are my stepsons, and then the youngest one is my biological child. He's three years old, and I'm afraid that when he becomes of age, you know, 12, 13, 14, that there is not going to be a like us 101. And, you know, his brothers have made all the mistakes. The oldest one is in the Air Force, has two baby mamas, two divorces, two kids. Um, you know, the second one refuses to wear condoms as much as I admonish him about that. Third one is gay, so I have a little bit less problems, but I told him that the rules still apply. But, um, I mean, are you writing memoirs? Are you going to write a book? Can we get tapes? I'm, I really, I, I'm serious. I want my, my three year old, the boy who's three years old now, to be able to get this kind of wisdom. Well, first of all, so you know, just to ease your mind, um, I signed a five-year contract with CBS that began in April. <sighs> and so I will be on the air through the end of March 2012 for sure. Okay. Okay, that's good. You know, and my husband's listened to you since you were on uh, here in L.A. I don't even know how long that is. He's About 100 years ago. Yeah. <laughs> what, what's that? About 100 years ago. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you know, I, I, I hooked up with with my older man, you know, before I expired. But um, you know, I, I what if what if when he's twelve, thirteen, fourteen years old that there's no Tom like us? Well, I'm so. work I'm working hard to to, to 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 be able to have that kind of longevity in the business and uh, not only that, but uh I'm sure between now and then there'll be a book or something. Okay, okay, books or, like, memoirs, you know, something. any kind of DVD. Some, There'll be something. something. There'll be something. Okay, I really, really appreciate what you do as a mother of sons and a woman who loves men. Um, can you take me out African tribal style? Yeah, of course I can, Marianne. Here you go. Baninge, 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 sopenza. Baninge, 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 sopenza. Tom Likas, 1-800-5800-TOM. Tom Likas, 1-800-5800-866. You have a nice rack? I do. How nice is it? I'm an A, baby. An A cup. An A team. More than a mouthful is a waste. Sounds to me like you don't even have a mouthful. The Tom Likas Show. Out. 
Tom Likas Show from Hollywood at one 800 800 tom That's our telephone number. I am your professor, Stephanie. Hello. And uh, I dated her for about two years. You know, she's a virgin when I got with her. Just gorgeous. Just drop dead gorgeous. Uh, ended up getting her pregnant while I was using I used a condom, and uh, she was supposedly on birth control. Later, I found out she wasn't on birth control, and uh, I don't know if she punctured the condom or what. But uh, being the stand-up guy I was, you know, I married her. You know, one year or uh, about six months later, you know, she became all pregnant, and fat, and you know, and uh, she just 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 stopped caring about everything, stopped doing anything around the house. I hey, 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 we're on the air. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Didn't do anything at all. And, uh, you know, I work very hard. Come home, you know, 15, 16 hours a day. She's still in the same spot. Tried talking to her. Tried working it out. Finally, finally, I got sick of it. So, you know, I told her, you know, you need to figure this out or or get get away from it. So uh, uh, she ended up leaving. And uh, now she filed charges against me that uh, said, you know, I beat her and all this, this, this crap, you know. And uh, she's trying to sue me for stuff and... You know, she didn't file for a divorce even, so I, I went and it cost me $7,000 and I haven't even been to court yet, Tom. You know, women are just play things and what you need to do is just, you know, listen to you and you are you were right about everything all along, Tom, and I didn't believe you. So so, so, so you got married after being a student here? Uh, yeah, well, I mean, I just barely started listening to you back then and, uh, I mean, <clears throat> ever since we got I got married, I knew I knew I made a mistake. And I mean, I should have just, honestly, I should have just had an abortion, you know, and just, you know, just left her on the side of the road. I mean, because that's, that's all she deserves, you know. She, she's a liar, cheater. She uh, took me for everything. I mean, I paid for everything, Tom. She didn't have, she didn't work, you know. She didn't, and any money she did make, you know, she spent on her stuff, clothes or whatever, you know. So just to the guys out there, you know, just listen to Tom. He's, he's right, you know, don't end up like a sucker like me. So. Go PUA, Jag. You learned something. Oh, yeah, but I, I paid the price, Tom. I mean, I'm going to pay the price till for the next 18 years now, you mm-hmm. know. And uh, it was my stupidity. It really was. And then uh, one of my other buddies, uh, uh, his his girlfriend, uh, or I'm sorry, his wife left him. And, uh, you know, she, she was pretty much the same way. And uh, she wasn't like that before they got married, you know. It was, it's, all, it's all illusion, you know. And then, uh, you know, afterwards he found out. She was cheating on him with his best friend, you know. These women are trash, and they just play things, and that's that's all they're good for, you know. Yep, I agree with that for sure. Tell you what, Ronald on the Tom Likas show. Hello, another one. Hello, you busy over there, Ronald? Uh, no, I'm actually just on the freeway. I see. Yeah. Are you waiting for a bus? Uh, no, I'm on. I'm stuck in traffic right now. Ah, yeah. Now I've got my calendar out here. Uh, I thought uh, we could uh, complete this call. Maybe. Uh, what are you doing on the twenty seventh? About uh, four twenty five p.m. Uh, 27 for the, um, probably in school. You think you could, uh, skip class, because uh, we need to get this call in? Um, 27, that's, uh, when, uh, is that a Saturday? The 27th? Yeah. Let me check here. Yeah, that's a Saturday. I'm going to have to come in on my day off to do this. Oh, um, if... The 27th on Saturday. Yeah, that's fine with me. Okay. I'm, I'm free all day. All right, hold on. I'll put you on my secretary. All right. All right. Handle that, would you, Dean? 
set that up. They're getting stupider. I didn't think it was possible. I didn't. Holy Christmas. Uh, Christian on the top line is November 21st okay? Let me check my calendar, Dean. Wait a second. Dean is still, Dean is still trying to work this out with him. <laughs> Hang on a second, Christian. Wait a second. November 21st. Uh, that's a Wednesday. That's the day before Thanksgiving. Well, it's probably going to be kind of backed up that day. Not gonna work. No. Uh, ask him what he's doing on the... Uh, how about the uh, 27th of November? Let's see if we can get this done. You agree, Tom? You agree? All right, set that up. Put that in the tickler file. Is that you want to do that at 3, Tom, or 4? Uh, we could do that at uh, 3 o'clock, Dean. Let's do that at 3 o'clock. He said it's in stone. All right, and hopefully everybody listening will put that in there. Uh, put that under your palm or your Blackberry. Put that on your calendar. Ronald. We will talk to Ronald. We'll find out what he was calling about at that time. <laughs> I'm dumbfounded. All right, uh, Christian, you're on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Christian. How's it going? Great. Now, can we get this done now, or do we have to make an appointment? No, no, no. I, I can uh, do okay. Right now. So, I'm going to college right now, and... Um, I got all these girls that I want to put on my, you know, on-call girl. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. I... But I don't know how to approach it. You don't know what? I, I don't know how to approach it. Well, yeah, the thing is, you're not going to go up to each one and say, okay, I want you to be in my bullpen. You're, you're going to just nail them and then ice them. You know, you nail them, then you don't talk to them for a few days or a week or so. Meantime, you're working other ones until you get the rotation up to five, six, seven girls. Yeah, yeah. Then what you tell each one of the of the six or seven when they want to see you, tell them you're busy. And then, of course, that what you'll do is you'll see one of the seven while you're telling the others you're busy. And you keep rotating them. So how would I get their numbers? Just go up to them and be like, hey, what's up with your number or what? How would you get their number? No do they live on campus? Um... No, it's a community college. Oh, it's a community college? Yeah. Sure, you can get their number. Why not? Uh, I don't know, because some of these girls look like, you know, they're stuck up. So what? You know what? It's all about rejection. You're going to be rejected 100 times. Maybe you get uh, nine numbers. That, that's how it works. It's like any other sales you might uh, be involved in. All right, all right. Great. Makes sense. Yeah, it makes sense. Just go out there and try it. Give it a shot, Christian. Yeah. Uh, okay. All right, thank you. Thank you. Appreciate the call. Wow. Chris on Like Us 101. Hello. How you doing, Tom? Doing great, Chris. I got a question for you. Yes. I mean, I, I, I don't want to say a predicament, but I, I just, I just, I just want to see what Tom would do. Um, I'm, I'm out here in Corona right now. Some girl wants me to meet her at her job. I'm 20 years old. She's 19. I say, meet her at her job. By the way, earlier this week, I after about 45 minutes of uh, 45 minutes spending with her in my car, we ended up in the back seat, side of the road, you know, doing the deed. And uh, now she's going to meet her at her job. No, you don't want to go to her job. You don't want to know her friends, her family, or because she wants to turn it into a relationship. I figured the same thing. I so the answer is no, no. All right. No, you never go to their job. All right. You've done, you've done me a lot of good. I, I, I'm, a new, I'm a new listener. I stood by your rules even before like, I even turned on the radio to 97.1 during 3 to 8 o'clock or 7 o'clock. Uh, but you're, you're my new father. I like that. <laughs> All right. Hi, right, Chris. All right, Tom. Thanks for the call. Here comes Lester on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How you doing? Doing okay. Well, this is my first time on the phone with you, so it's a new thing. I haven't, heard, I haven't had a lot of time. This is my first um, time with you, too. <laughs> All right. This is the thing. I mean, a friend recommended me say, you know, go ahead, go Tom Likas, you know, and try it out. You know, I've, well, I have, like, what, like a month listening to you? I mean, you're great, dude. It's like I give you props. Everything's true. 
All right, this is my thing. I was with an ex, what, all high school year, three years. Um, everything was going like good, whatever, down here, go uphill. Um, then we got to a point, I left out of town for two months, went to go visit my parents' hometown. Came back, everything was perfect. Two weeks, everything, like, we had everything, you know. A week after that, she comes up saying, you know what, it's done, it's over, I don't want to be with you. I was like, all of a sudden, you know. All right, and then um, she was telling me about this guy that's trying to hit at her. Watch and... your mouth. We're on the air. Oh, sorry about that. Um, she was always talking smack about him, saying, oh, he's this, he's a player, this and this. And then up, she gets with him after me, like, exactly like a month later. All right, and my excuse was like, what's up with that, you know? All right. A year later, until probably like a, a month ago, she dumps her. No, he dumps her. She comes up calling me, hey, I know how you feel, this and this, that and that. I'm sorry. And me, you know, I didn't want to be that kind of person, blow her off, make fun of her. So I'll be like, you know what? I'll I'll be, you know, I'll help you out. You know, you ever need somebody to talk to, cry, you need a shoulder, you know, I'll be here. So he actually proposed to her, whatever, his promise ring, whatever. So um, he went and got, her, he got his stuff back. Now, that same night, she called me, picked me up. I go talk to her. She was crying, talking to her, that and that. I've been talking talking to her now. And now she was, and you know, you know, I'm just trying to nail her. You know, it's like done, over. How do I go in, get out, do what I got to do? But then she decided to, or I don't know. That's what I just want to do. That's the story. And now, I mean, she's been sending me pictures of her, like, half naked, this and this, that and that. But at the same time, I'm trying to talk to her. Why are you wasting so much time on one girl? No, oh, no, don't even worry about it. I mean, I got other ones, too. But the thing is, after that whole year, I haven't gotten none whatsoever. Like, I, I mean, it's like I lost the touch of talking to girls. I don't know. Either one way or another, I just end up, kill, like, killing my own game on them. And it's like I try on one, all right, then I'm going to do this, and then... Something happens, nothing happens. So it's like now I'm in. So what is your question? Oh, the thing is, what can I do to get laid? I've been it's been like a year and like two months, and I've tried everything to you know talk to girls, try to see what. Well, what happens when you talk to girls? Forget about this one. What happens when you talk to girls? I don't know. It just it doesn't come to me like it used to. What what happened? What used to happen? Well, there she's she's like whatever, but I mean. It just doesn't come. Nothing comes up. Um, you know, I, I, you know I, yeah, I'm lost, Lester. I'm lost. <laughs> you know, the way you chat up chicks appear to be successful, appear to be something more than just the average loser, okay? And those are the most important things. You don't have the stink of death on you, and you have the stink of death. I'm hearing it over the telephone. I am. Our email address is my name. It's Tom at blowmeuptom.com. The Tom Likas Show.